Welcome to the Teaching Portfolio video tutorial. When you log into Canvas, you'll find your course or your portfolio under the Courses tab. Your portfolio will be referred to as a course within Canvas. You'll be creating your portfolio based on a template that's already been created. Click Edit this page to get started. On the home page, you'll be editing the basic information about you at the top, and you'll also be replacing the picture. Please make sure you don't delete the photo, but actually replace it. Otherwise, the formatting on the page will be altered. To replace the picture, select the image, and then in the right-hand toolbar, select Images. Either upload a new image, select an image that you've already uploaded, or search to find an image on the Flickr Creative Commons. To personalize this page, try to use a picture of you in the classroom. And don't forget to save your changes. As you can see on the home page, the template is already built with the 10 outcome pages and the appendix. On each of the outcome pages, you will find the title at the top along with the description of the outcome. These items do not need to be changed. Starting under the title Artifacts for Learner Development, you'll find directions from your instructor on what you'll need to do. For more specific information about editing a page in Canvas and adding your artifacts, please view part 2 of this video. To edit a page, click its name, then click the Edit This Page button. Here you have the Rich Content Editor, where you can insert and format content to be viewed in your course. Format your content by highlighting the text you want to edit and clicking the different formatting options in the toolbar. Between the text formatting options, there are other editing options, including Insert and Edit a Table, Link and Unlink to URL, Embed Image, and Record or Upload Media. These tools are helpful for organizing and inserting relevant content for your course. Let's go through how to use a few of these tools. First, insert a table. Put the cursor where you want the table to be inserted on your page. Then click the Insert Edit Table icon. Edit the general properties of the table by typing in the appropriate fields. Click the Advanced tab to edit the advanced table properties. Some elements in this tab are more suited for advanced users with knowledge of HTML and CSS and provides additional possibilities for table design. Click the Insert button to create the table. You can now add content to the table in the Rich Content Editor by clicking and typing in the cells. Next, the Record Upload Media tool allows you to insert audio or video into the Rich Content Editor. You can record your media on the spot or upload an existing media file. To record your own media, select the Record Media tab, click the camera or microphone icon, respectively for video or audio, and click Record. Click again to stop recording and then choose to save or re-record. To upload media from your computer, click the Upload Media tab, choose video or audio, and select the appropriate file. You can also embed content from the Content Selector on the right sidebar. Using the content selector, you can link to other pages in your course, insert files, or upload images. To link to other pages within your course, first select and highlight the word or words you would like to make into a link. Then click the Links tab in the content selector, and select the course content you would like to link to. A yellow box will form around the new link, and the word or words will turn blue to indicate that the link has been created. To insert course files, select the Files tab and insert one of your course files or upload a new file from your computer. To insert images, click the Images tab and upload a new image from your computer, search the Flickr Creative Commons site, or insert existing course images. Make sure to save the changes made to your page. When you edit course pages, you can view the page history and see the date, time, and author of any changes made to the page. Page editors can view previous versions of the page by clicking the date and even roll back the page content to a previous version of the page. By searching the Canvas guides, you can find answers to common questions about Canvas and see step-by-step -step instructions on how to use features and tools in Canvas. Search the guides by typing in the search box. You can also access the guides directly by visiting guides.instructure.com. 
The guides are divided into different manuals. First, the Getting Started and Quick Start manuals offer beginning level lessons for using Canvas. The next group of manuals are sorted by roles and contain lessons specific to those roles. You can also browse the guides by opening a manual and browsing the guides in that manual by scrolling or by clicking and browsing through the chapters on the sidebar.